but uh, yeah. Leave all the stuff in there, man. It's a mess. Were really? you guys here when this hit? Yeah, we lived upstairs. <laughs> Did you get any warning at all? To come? Were you able to take any shelter at all? Oh yeah, we took shelter over there. Cellar over there. Did you see it coming? It was right, right at our door <laughs> when we got out. Was it a big one or what did it look like? It's un undescribable. <laughs> you see something like that. It's puppy dog over there. Get out of my clothes. Oh, I got it on my back. <laughs> I found it. Our stove and icebox is about a half a block from here. And just moved here two days ago and all this stuff happened. <laughs>
Sorry. We're gonna be we're gonna try to stay out in the street there running that stuff. Yeah. We need a grunt and we'll holler at you. Okay. I know who <laughs> called. And the little brown house right over where that bathtub's at, the little two-room house. And uh, he uh, was asleep in the bed, and there's a pickup on the other side, and it tore the house out of, from around him and put him in the back back bed of that pickup. And he crawled out of that pick. Oh, no, you know what? Uh, Con Mr. Conway said he seen him crawl out of that Toyota. It put him in the front of the, the uh, Toyota, and that, that's what that horn was going on. He's in the hospital. And, uh, but he survived. Yeah. Oh, that, see that foundation right there? That's a big two-story house, just like this one. 
at, uh, there was an Indian girl in there. The house is gone. The Indian girl went over there and, and they must have let her go. Lena, yeah, yeah. We went over to check this morning. He's in the hospital, but she's not. So they must have admitted her and let her go. She walked over there. And when we heard the siren go off. She was on her knees right here after the tornado went past. She was in that house. And we come up out here and she was she was on her knees right there by the cellar door. Well, just to shake it. When the siren went off, we um, turned it to channel seven and there was no bulletin. So we ran in the kitchen and got all the kids, our four kids, and we turned the radio on and the electricity was going on and off, on and off, and they said that's just a warning to keep you alert. You know, there's nothing. And just about the time we heard a rumbling, and he said, run as fast as you can to the cellar. And I had the baby in my arms, and we ran down there. And the thing was sitting right we, over we, there by that telephone pole. We were in it, but we got in the cellar. And it ripped off the cellar door right out of my daddy's hands. It was throwing stuff down in the cellar. There was two guys. That was a two-room, two, uh, two-story house, and there was two guys upstairs. They said they see him coming, and they run to the cellar and got in just behind us. Yeah, that's him right there. It was tearing up the buildings when we were going to the cellar. I had a truck parked there, picked the truck up, put it right up there between that pole and that wall right there. And I, I dug some bricks out from under it and it had a flat tire on it and it had the side of it caved in and I drove the truck out and changed the flat tire and drove off. It's going to be pretty uh, pretty difficult to pick up the pieces. That's a, an awful lot of damage done. Yeah, yeah, we're not even from here. We're from Baton Rouge. I, I just want we to didn't, go we home. Don't, how do they work that? you got to clean up your own mess, don't you? <laughs> it's just about, oh, yeah, the city. They'll, they'll, they'll bring bulldozers and, and uh, front end loaders and stuff like that in. <laughs> no, you tell them when we get ours, they get <laughs> they theirs. Get theirs. <laughs> and, oh, you think that's funny? Well, they've mask? done really? yesterday, right after yes, yes, I get my rent right there. I couldn't. Believe. I was in there, in there trying to get my clothes out. And one of the, you got your life. <laughs> one, that, you got your life. They, they like one, of the, one of the renters going upstairs says, upstairs, you got insurance. Right? I said, brother, I ain't worried about no insurance. All I want to do is get my clothes and get out of here. That's right. I said, if you see me for something the devil's done, you just go right ahead. <laughs> We got a
There was a lady in it, and he come running down here, but I don't know if she was hurt or not. As far as you know, from what I've heard. She's in a wheelchair. I don't know if she's even in there or not. Well, the uh, fireman checked when they came through here. I guess her husband checked. He came in about the time I was Aw, it's big Mr. Gray's found his wife? I don't know. Well, they was out there looking for her yesterday. Some men was, and I said, I didn't know if she's in there or not. Yeah, I, don't... I don't believe this happened, man. To me, you know, I, you look at other people that happened to you and think, well, that's never going to happen to me. But I got shit did. It's good. Harry said he didn't believe it. I keep getting in his way. Every time I move, he moves. No, you're fine. I sprayed you's gonna turn that thing on every time I move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I have built that room on back yeah, of that house there. I keep getting in his way. Every time I move, he moves. No, you're fine. I sprayed you's gonna turn that thing on every time I move. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have built that room on back yeah, of that house there. I was talking to all of you one day, and I was sitting in my backyard over there. I haven't talked to him, though, not yet. I, I, I come over here yesterday, he was running down here. I think his wife is still in there. Yeah, she's in a wheelchair. She yeah, uh, the cement asked me, said, is the woman still in there? And I said, I don't know. I, I'll tell you, I was just in a trance. Well, I come here last night, I looked around, I couldn't see anybody, so I don't know. Well, he can't. I don't know. Look at my car. I was grabbing at the insurance company about one side. Get to where she could get service. There's no way she could get over here to I had both the neighbors cross the street in there with me. Yeah. It rolled out in the sun, though. I haven't spoke to Mr. Graves yet this morning. Yeah, I think it could do. We're fixing to get some more rain in the front. Let's go find my insurance company right now. We need to make some calls right now and get these people down here. Pepper! She's all right, and we're going to get out. Well, she'll get back to the yard. Well, that's because she started barking. She's not with me. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, she's okay.